Happy Independence Day, everybody. Bringing you a few more blades for all my blade brothers and sisters out there. Um, I've shown these before, but a lot of my new subscribers hadn't saw them yet. So I just wanted to do a rundown on some military type blades that I have in my collection. And I hope you'll enjoy. Um, probably one of my favorites of this grouping would have to be the um, Western 49. This is a Vietnam model one. Um, really proud to have this. Uh, this came to me in a very odd way, but I am really blessed to have it and to add this to my collection. Still retains its beautiful mirror polish does have some oxidation but um i don't really want to damage the blade any by trying to do anything with that i do have some polish i can put on it that'll remove a lot of that so i will be doing that but this is the western 49 and it is a awesome buoy knife if you ever get the chance to run across this you may want to add this to your collection. They're full tang, beautiful rosewood scales, really high quality escard. They're awesome pieces of history. These were sold in a lot of PXs during the Vietnam War. Um, a lot of guys carried them. There are several photographs of these being used in Vietnam, and uh, I think that's awesome. I really do. Um, this is a V44 Raider from Chippeway Cutlery. Um, it's a nice knife. It's a fairly good example. Brass T-guard there. Really nice profile and blade line, you know, grind line. I believe they're just a fuzz off on it, but no matter. They nailed the handle perfectly. It is just a beautiful piece of cutlery it truly is and it's part of our heritage part of our our um part of our military package there and a really cool v44 copy is um our raider buoy copy is the marbles 555 now i really dig this one i love the stack leather handle the brass pommel and brass tea guard. This is a Pakistani made buoy for marbles, but they did an excellent job on it. It's really heavy. It's fairly sharp and uh, it's awesome. It really is. I love having these things in my collection. I really do. They're beautiful knives, beautiful conversation pieces, and they're part of our history. And I love that. Oh, the 1918 World War I trench knife. Now, these were used in World War I and World War II. Um, they were issued to troops. Geneva Convention did not like them. But uh, we didn't really care what the Geneva Convention thought, especially after the Germans started lobbing gas. So these were made to pierce the thick jackets that were wore by the Germans. And um, we know what these were put there for. And they were put to good use. They really were. Uh, a lot of the soldiers tended to grind this part off because it tended to rub up against them in certain carry positions, but um, I would have left it there. I mean, it's a good blade catcher, you know. Um, the pommel on this thing is brutal. It really is. But this is an outstanding piece, and uh, I love showing this thing. I really do. The V-42, this was made popular by the Devil's Brigade. 
They were made for dispatching sentries, for wet work at night, quiet work. They are highly sought after, and they're beautiful knives. They, they really are. Um, I've seen several remakes of this. Boker and Case probably do the best out of them all. And if you can find an original one made by Case, you got something there. You really do. But they're beautiful pieces, and their, their pommel is oh so nasty. Stacked leather. It's just a beautiful blade. You have this thumb spot right there, and that's just for that reason. You get my mean in there. Outstanding piece of cutlery. And we have the Spec Plus by Ontario. A lot of these were carried during the Gulf War. And um, they're awesome. There were several models issued to special operations troops during the Grenada conflict. And um, they have the M3 type trench blade on it. And they're awesome. I love this thing. I have had this thing for years and years. Really nasty pommel. Just a fantastic piece of cutlery. I love this. I love Ontario's. And then one more I want to show you is the Glock field knife, which is a pain in the ass to get out. But every household in the United States needs one of these knives. Now, I have a friend, Joe Doomsday, who has every color. He has the gray, the green, the black, the tan, and uh, they're awesome. They really are. Check out Joe Doomsday's channel if you hadn't. He has an awesome knife collection. Joe is a super cool guy. And uh, I also want to put out there Timbo147, I believe. He's another awesome awesome YouTuber with a killer knife collection, as is Cowboy Seabob, Choir Boys Cutlery, Joe's Steel Forged in Fire. Y'all check these guys out. They're Brothers of the Blade, and um, they have awesome collections. This Glock is as tough as tough can get. They are built to last. They were designed for the mountain troops, for Germans in Austria, and uh, they're just awesome blades. They really are. They have an excellent heat treat. The spine on the back is a saw type, and it will go to work like the beaver. They are awesome. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. And I hope to bring you a few more. Um, everybody have a safe, happy Independence Day. Enjoy your friends, your family. Everybody stay safe. This is Donovan from Mississippi. Y'all have a good one.